course, you may want to do more than read in books about clocks or uh, just see them for sale at auctions or in, uh, or in dealer shops. You may want to uh, actually see the actual old clocks. And uh, you can do that, too, particularly in the New England area. There's a couple of, uh, or in the Northeast, anyway, there's a couple of uh, museums where you can go and see hundreds or even thousands of examples of clocks that you may want to try to own yourself. These museums are pretty comprehensive. They're not just extremely rarefied versions of clocks that you'll never see. You'll see popular, popular models, ones that you may actually find as a collector. The first to mention is the American Clock and Watch Museum that's in Bristol, Connecticut. I've mentioned that before because that's where Chris Bailey w works as the curator. But uh, obviously they focus on American clocks. They have just hundreds of clocks on display that, and with their histories and information as well as a good uh, uh, gift shop and bookshop where you can find many of these books that we were talking about as we went along. The, uh, there's several galleries there in, uh, in almost a small museum setting, so you're not going to walk into a giant place and get overpowered by what's there. It's a friendly site where you can uh, see many clocks. The other mu important museum, of course, is in Columbia, Pennsylvania, where the National Association of Watch and Clock Collectors is headquartered. They have a, a big new museum there, again, with hundreds of examples of clocks that you would like to uh, know more about and collect and own, as well as uh, uh, a large, uh, well, well-staffed and well-equipped library for you to do research on clocks as well. So two great museums, as well as uh, other museums in the area that may have clock collections that they show occasionally, or random clocks throughout the museum illustrating other parts of American history, design, and, uh, and technology.